we are going to continue our tutorials on the metadata, the metadata that is stored with your logs. Every time a log is sent to Splunk, it creates metadata fields and they're stored separately. And if you search that metadata field, things will search much, much faster. The source, the metadata field we're going to talk about today is the source type field. The source type is kind of like a table in an Excel file or in a database, but it's actually so much more. The source type is actually a, there's a props file and a transforms file, and it sets the regex and all the rules of how I'm going to take this, uh, this raw log and how I'm going to parse it into human readable stuff for the user to be able to read it. The source type is basically how fields are generated, um, aliases are generated, etc. And that's all contained within the source type. But if I want to see all the source types that are on my system, I can go metadata. The metadata field searches the metadata logs. It does not go into the raw logs. And so you start with a pipe metadata. You declare the index. I want to search all my indexes, so I'm going to do an index equals star. And then you call out type and the type is the metadata type that you want to look for and that would be hosts source types sources and so if I go type equals we can already see those are the three fields that come back please note that they are plural uh, do not type type equals source type that will come back with no fi nothing found you want to use source types in this case that's only the metadata when you're actually searching your raw logs it's source type singular but in the metadata, it is plural. So uh, just know that so that it's not a gotcha that gets you down the road. If I press enter, I can see all of the different source types. So I've got XML source types. I've got bro source types. I've got script source types. I've got uh, Windows logs uh, uh, source types. And the way that they parse, the way that they display themselves, that's, that's just saying here is a bundle of knowledge to allow me to parse these logs. And so let's go look at these if I go index equals lame training I'm gonna pick one of these I'm gonna go look at my bro con logs source type equals um, actually I'm gonna do lame con so you, you can have the exact same data at home if you're using the lame scripting system and I'm just gonna go grab the first 10 we can see here's the raw text the fact that all of these fields are parsed out and displaying like this, that is because it is part of the, the source type new to use a key value pairing to pull these apart. And so the fact that you have fields that you can query on is because your source type parsed them for you. If you don't have that, you won't be able to use fields and search on fields. Anyway, I hope this was useful. I hope you find the channel useful. If you like this, please subscribe. Please subscribe to uh, like the ch like this video if you liked it. Um, I hope that you'll keep coming back for more information. And uh, if you want to use any of these tools, they're free and open. Please feel free to download them, use them, and hopefully this helps you in your journey to become a Splunk uh, uh, Ninja Master. All right. I hope to hear from you guys. I hope to see you guys later.